The movie is a bliss for the insectoid lovers. It will give you a near chiller experience of how insects can love and hate you at the same time. They will never harm you until you never tease them. The crux of this movie lies in the appearance of foreign intruders into the family of protagonist and make him lose his friends. Hence, the movie starts with how these extremely poisonous creatures are taken to the human world. A few people in the North African desert drive to a certain spot and mesmerize with the scenes. When one man finds a hole, he calls the others, who then blow gas into it. A few minutes later, big, fast spiders appear and attack one man. Two other people ignore their friend's screams and try to catch as many spiders as they can. One man pulls out a blade and kills the friend who was bitten by the spider to end his brutal pain of sting. At the same time, the protagonist Caleb asks the owner of a jewelry store in Paris to show him some great items. The shopkeeper takes Caleb to the storage room and shows him some very nice earrings. The trader agrees to sell Caleb a rare and dangerous African desert spider in exchange for the earrings. Caleb goes to his apartment in a huge, ring-shaped building that lacks the basic electricity supplies. He and his friend Maddie sell expensive shoes without a license. He has set up an aquarium of insects for his unusual pets, which he shares with his sister Manon. He turns on the heat lamps to make the room cozy for his strange pets, with whom he likes to talk. When he's done, he puts the new spider in a box with tissues to make it feel better. He names it Rihanna. Caleb gets into a fight with his sister over his strange pets, heat lamps, and refusal to sell the apartment where they grew up. After that, he goes to a party and meets Tumani, who can't wait for his new shoes as his birthday gift. Caleb wishes his friend on his birthday and gives him the earrings as a gift. Caleb goes to the party for a couple of hours and comes home to find the desert spider out of the box through a hole. He looks for the spider that got away but only finds a cocoon in his butterfly collection. Caleb takes the shoes, puts the wrap in a different box, and goes to bed. Caleb wakes up in the morning to the loud sound of a drill. It's his sister remodeling the apartment. Manon has asked her friend and her boyfriend Jordi to come over. Jordi and Caleb used to be great friends, but they broke up badly. Maddie's also shows up with a brand new box for the shoes. When Caleb is done packing the goods, he goes down to the basement parking area, where Tamani is already waiting. A local resident who thinks Caleb is selling drugs, sees them going back to his apartment after Caleb gives them the new shoes. When Tamani tries on the new shoes, the spider that got out comes out and bites him terribly. Although the man kills the spider, Caleb is then attacked by many of its young, which bite him in return several times. The man's dog eats the spider without reacting to what's going on. When Caleb gets home, he sees that his friends are looking at the terrarium inhabitants with interest. After the guests leave, Caleb goes after them and carefully puts a rag under the door to keep the spider from getting out. Caleb doesn't yet know that the spider has not only gotten away, but it has also started to reproduce very quickly. At this very moment, Tumani is sick from the very dangerous spider poison. Maddie's and Jordy hear dog barking from a group of people standing near Tanny's apartment as they take out the trash. Neighbors are shocked to find the body of the owner inside the flat. Soon, the cops show up but they don't know what killed the person. Meanwhile, the neighbors start to think it might be a brand new, very dangerous virus. The friends of Caleb take the dog and go to his place to think about what to do next. In the meantime, a cleaner in the back room sees a web and uses bug spray to get the spiders to climb into the ventilation system. They go into Leela's bathroom while she is washing her hands. When the girl sees that the vent cover has dropped, she tries to put it back but trips and falls while getting up. When Leela sees a towel moving, she lifts it, which makes a spider jump on her. This scares the girl, who then locks herself in the shower and calls for Jordy's help. Jordy goes crazy and uses a mop to try to get the spider out from under the cabinet. Jordy covers the spider with a towel and steps on it when it leaves. When the guy lifts the rag, he is terrified to see that the spider has broken up into many small spiders. A lot more spiders come out of the shower drain, too so people have to leave the bathroom quickly. In a hurry, they close up all the holes in the bathroom so the spiders can't get out. The guests thought Caleb brought the spiders home. At first, he denied everything, but then he confesses that he bought one spider and it got out of the box. Also, the desert spider was meant to die because it was so cool there. Caleb put the cocoon in the box when he heard about it. Jordy opens it but closes it right away because it's full of spiders. 
The cleaner sees a dead spider on the floor, and the brave woman climbs up a ladder to reach the suspended ceiling. There are many spiders and a lot of dust below. The cleaner sprays poison from two cans at once and then checks to see what happened. However, spiders that were still alive eventually kill him. Jordy suggests leaving the dangerous house right away and calling the cops to report the spider problem. Caleb chooses to stay in the apartment even though it makes no sense, and his sister wants him to leave with her. Also, Caleb says he doesn't want to deal with the cops. Maddie suggests that they tell their neighbors about the danger, but some of them don't listen and won't even open their doors. Maddie's and Caleb see a lot of spider webs on the stairs as they go down to the lower floors. Their knocks are met with silence. The only open door is at the end of the hall, leading to the apartment of the girl who had a birthday yesterday. When they walk in, they see her asleep in a chair in front of the TV. When Caleb gets close, he is terrified to see big spiders coming out of the girl's body. Jordy reads online that some spider species can grow ten times bigger than their mother when they are in a dangerous place. Each new generation gets bigger than the last. After some time, the guys find a pool of blood in the kitchen. The blood comes from a dog, and a huge spider comes out of it. The friends meet in the hallway, but they don't know that the whole building is already full of spiders that are breeding and growing very quickly, and that most of the people who live there have already been eaten by these haunting creatures. The local resident suddenly shows up and hits Caleb hard on the head with a stick. Caleb and his friends have to go back to his apartment to find the drugs he thinks are hidden there. When the local resident walks into the room, he grabs a taped-up box and uses a knife to open it. Dozens of spiders then jump out and land on him. When Caleb and his friends see this, they run downstairs, but the front door is full of spiders. Then they decide to hide in the parking garage below. When the group opens the door to the hallway, they see that the walls, floor, and ceiling are all covered in a thick layer of dust that are home to thousands of spiders. When Caleb sets the timer for the light, he sees that the spiders stop moving as soon as the light is on. The people then come up with a new plan. They will set the timer for the lights to go off at the worst possible time and crawl through the web to get out of the building. Manon, being brave, agrees to stand by the light switch to keep everyone else safe. She will then quickly follow them. Because they don't have any better ideas, the rest agree. Manon turns on the light while her friends put hoods over their heads and slowly move forward so as not to bother the crowd spiders that are there. Luckily, the group makes it through the dangerous passageway. After this, Manon sets the setting for the lights to the longest time possible and runs after the others. As the girl gets closer to the end of the hall, the light goes out, stopping her in her tracks. Manon sees a spider as she lights her way with a lighter, but she doesn't dare burn it. Instead, she finally gets to her friends with the help of Celeb. The group tries to open the door, but someone on the other side of it holds it shut, even though they beg for help. Soon, toxic gas and gunshots start to come through the crack. The group has to go back to the basement, where they see that Jordy is not there. While Caleb was gone, his friend was still living but wrapped in a web and stung by dozens of spiders. Maddie's comes up with a new way for the group to get up 15 floors and to the roof while they are locked in the back room. People run into the hallway and use a lit flare to scare away the bugs. Caleb gets a cocktail bottle out of his bag, lights it, and throws it into the hallway when the flare goes out. Maddie's then uses a lamp. But spiders that are trying to get away from the fire crawl up the roof toward them. The people run up the stairs, using the flashlight to keep the crawling creatures that are after them. Maddie's is only just getting by, and the girls remember the key to the upstairs lock. The group does, however, close the door behind them in time. People who are tired can take a break here, but only for a short time. Soon, the cops show up and tell the people living there to stand against the wall. Caleb tries to calm down by saying that they need to save the remaining people, but it doesn't work. The cops then fight Caleb and his friends because they refuse to obey, and Caleb passes out. The guy wakes up in the underground parking area, which is where the cops took him. At this point, the cops are gathering the bodies of spiders that were killed by poisons. The people who lived there noticed that the police had locked the door from the outside and wouldn't let them into the parking lot lately. With many spider bites on his neck, Baddies knows he doesn't have much time left to live. He waits for the right time to turn off the generator and then runs to the hallway door to break it down in the dark. Along with the police officer who is watching the entrance, an army of spiders comes from the dark gap, 
drawing the police's attention away from them. Caleb and Menon hide in the car, but soon big spiders get in through the broken window. Leela saves her friends by turning on the headlights of her car. The three friends start their car and hit everything in their way as they drive through the basement parking lot. They have to brake quickly near the gates because a big, angry spider is in their way. For some reason, Caleb gets out of the car outside and tells his sister to turn off the headlights. When the spider sees that people are not a threat, it limps away. Caleb opens the gates so that the very bright sun can come in. A few days later, we see a monument that was made by hand to honor the people who had died. The building as a whole and all the spiders inside are destroyed by a strong blast. Manon and Leela watch this from a distance. Caleb hides a picture with his beloved friend Jordy sitting on a down tree in a cardboard box and buries it in the forest. There's a small bug on the boy's back. After Caleb lets the spider go into the bush, the story is over. If you like this movie then don't forget to like and subscribe the channel.